Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's try to understand the difference between AI ops and ML ops. By watching this video, you will not only understand the differences between them, but you can also understand what is AI ops and what is ML ops. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's start with AI ops. As the name suggests, AI ops is using AI to reduce any kind of IT operations. The IT operations, something that you can predict or something that you cannot even predict. AI ops can reduce them. Let me take a use case so that you can understand better. One of the popular use cases of AI ops is observability. Let's say you are working on observability for a MNC. And assume this MNC gets millions of data sets, but still traditional observability platforms, maybe Datadog, Dynatrace, they can go through this huge amount of data set and still they can provide you the current state of the system. Just for example, it can tell you that a pod X is using 60% of CPU or a pod Y is using 70% of memory. So it can typically tell you the current state of the system. When you add AI ops capabilities to your observability platform, by going through the same data, what AI ops can add on is it can also predict the future state of your system. What does that mean? It can tell you that maybe after two weeks, there can be a spike in the CPU utilization of this particular pod and it might go or it might exceed 100%. It might lead to a downtime. How does AI ops can do that? Because AI is involved, it can analyze the data, it can anticipate any future issues and it can also avoid it. There are AI ops solutions even with observability where whenever they identify a anomaly or whenever they anticipate something is going to happen, they can also avoid such things to happen either by sending Slack notifications to the team or sending email notifications. They can avoid any future kind of IT operations. Isn't it amazing? And most of the observability platforms today have integrated their AI op solutions. Whether it is Datadog, whether it is Manage Engine, whether it is Dynatrace, they all have AI op solutions. Is it only with observability? No. In fact, the use cases of AI ops are endless. Imagine developing a AI op solution for your Kubernetes cluster. Even in your Kubernetes cluster, there are plenty of resources. How about AI ops understanding anomalies with your Kubernetes state? That is, how about AI ops suggesting that there can be some issues with your Kubernetes cluster in future and trying to avoid them? Or even some use cases like where you can develop a AI op solution and integrate that with CI CD. How? Imagine your CI CD pipeline is failing. Whenever your CI CD pipeline is failing, you get the log information. Typically, what developers do is they take this log information, they either go to chat GPT or they create a ticket with DevOps team. How about you develop a AI op solution 
where it looks at the logs. Maybe it makes calls with the local LLMs or it makes some calls with open AI APIs and instantly, even without developer creating a DevOps ticket or going to chat GPT, in the user interface, the AIOps solution suggests some workarounds. Just like you do as a DevOps engineer, or just like they go to chat GPT and get the workarounds, instantly it can suggest some workarounds. So this will reduce a lot of IT operations effort. DevOps engineering team might be available, might not be available. So reduction of IT operations. The use cases can be with Docker, it can be with Kubernetes, it can be with CI CD, or even it can be with your regular day to day development activities. The use cases of AIOps are endless. Now let's move to MLOps. MLOps is basically reducing operations with respect to machine learning life cycle. So it is somewhere or other similar to DevOps, but it is dealing with machine learning. Just like your traditional software development life cycle, right? Wherein your software development life cycle, you have multiple stages where DevOps as a culture can automate or reduce operations with respect to this software development life cycle. Now, when it comes to MLOps, instead of software development life cycle, it deals with traditional machine learning life cycle. For example, let's say you are developing a model. Your life cycle involves definition of problem, right? And the collection of data, data collection, it involves in data cleaning and data processing. Your machine learning life cycle involves with fine tuning of the data. And it also involves in the model selection. Your machine learning life cycle involves in training of the model. And it also involves in tuning and evaluation of the model. Finally, you proceed with deployment of the model, monitoring and retraining of the model. And this is a cycle. Just like software development life cycle, this is machine learning life cycle. Now, MLOps is basically reducing any kind of manual operations or automating, unifying the gap between machine learning and the operations that are involved exactly like DevOps, but DevOps deals with software development life cycle, whereas MLOps deals with machine learning life cycle. Now, what are the tools in each of these space? When it comes to AI ops, the popular tools are any of your observability platforms, right? You can take Datadog, Dynatrace, Manage Engine, all of them have AIOps solutions that are already integrated with it. Apart from that, in AIOps, because the use cases are endless, you can also define your custom AI solutions. Writing some Python scripts or even writing some shell scripts where you can interact with local models or open AI models and try to reduce the IT operations. When it comes to MLOps, the popular tools in the space of MLOps are AWS SageMaker, similarly Azure and any, any cloud platform have solutions like AWS SageMaker. And apart from that, there is something called MLflow, there is Kubeflow and lot of other options in the market. But these are the popular ones. And these are the popular ones in AIOps. Overview, AIOps is basically reducing IT operations. It 
is not related to DevOps or it is not related to development or QE. In general, it can reduce any kind of IT operations. It's more of a culture. And AOPS also deals with writing your custom AI solutions where they talk to the local models or they talk to external models. End of the day, they are trying to reduce the IT operations. When it comes to MLOps, it is focused only on machine learning lifecycle. Just like DevOps reduces the gaps in the software development lifecycle or automates things in the software development lifecycle, MLOps is focused on reducing or automating machine learning lifecycle. The popular tools in this space are AWS SageMaker, MLflow, Kubeflow, or the solutions provided by other cloud platforms. I hope you found the video informative. We are planning to do zero to hero courses on both AIOps as well as MLOps on this channel. If you are interested, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and colleagues. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.